Pro Skittles the game, Getsumaru is the name, and I just did that intro reversed. Oh yeah. So in the last episode of Twilight Princess, well, uh, we started collecting uh, the Tears of Light for the Vessel of Light, and well, we entered Fern Province. Um, unfortunately, in between recording, the little uh, introduction thing got skipped, but all it does is kind of outline the area, so it was no big deal. So now let's get back to bug hunting, which should be right there, these two fellers. Come here. And I wait for them to land. They'll stop flying away, bam. Come on, swoop down. Alright. <clears throat> Got another couple of them. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit groggy, it's the morning. I just. I'm recording this on. well, the day it's uploading. And I got a coffee with me, mainly because I got to work later today, and I'm working like six days straight, so I'm gonna try to get some episodes out of the way this morning before I gotta go to work. So now let's go over here. Sorry, not here. Oh god, no, no, I wanna fall in there. Get right here. Hey, I think we can get across over here. So t you do the traditional target jump, target jump, target jump, target jump, and just run up here and do the same. There's really not that much left via tears and light. Watch out for the keys, though. Yeah, if you can avoid them, do it. Bang. Oh, there's two of them here. Come here, little buddy. Come on. Ow. Okay, that wasn't so good. Come on. Oh, there's three of them here. And I did not know I could reach them up there. Okay, okay. You learn something new each day, pretty much. <clears throat> so in recent news, well, yesterday we had a pretty damn good game against the uh, Toronto. Although I know it's not much of a win, because you know they're just as bad as us, but honestly, I like the fact that we were able to get a shutout. We won three in a row. I don't, like, want us to get, like, egotistical, because if we get, like, so overconfident in that, we're going to fuck ourselves over like we did in the beginning of the season. And I was like, oh, we're doing so good, we're going to win, yeah. And here, watch out for the rock, you know, you don't want to get smacked in the face. Because if you want to see the rock smack in the face, go watch his, one of his movies. Or some old WWE or WWF, you know, whatever floats your boat. Oh, look, moving rock, what could that possibly mean? <clears throat> well, what you gotta do is you gotta dig them up. See the shadow? And dig. Oh, I got them both up, nice. Two for one, two for one. Buy one, get one free. God, I wish that I had Tim Hortons buy a coffee, get one free, and buy like four of them. Just stick it in the microwave when I would need some more coffee, it lasts me the whole day. And if you haven't uh, tell by now or noticed, I have a coffee with me, that's why I'm stopping every now and then to drink. <clears throat> Sorry, but I need my coffee in the morning. If I recorded this without my coffee, it'd probably be a lot more swearing and ooh, Shadow Beast. And, of course, it's a trap card. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come here. All three of you, man. All three of you. Bam. 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 Alright, you're dead. <clears throat> yeah, it's nothing too complicated. The first uh, vessel of light is actually pretty straightforward. Then again, that's kind of introducing you to all that. And a bag of chips. So it's intended to be like that, so let's keep going. There's a little birdie here. Hey, the bird's gone. <gasps> Shadow Beast must have eaten him. Oh no. Wale! Yes, I'm hyper in my recordings. Pretty cool though. I'm having a lot of fun with Golden Sun. It's actually really fun. And look, the last two um, little bugs. And then there's the female monkey. Oh, I could have swore I got him. Bam. One way for you, I get the other one. And then the monkey should be happy, because there's no bugs bothering her anymore. Someone, someone helped me. Boy, lucky for me, ever since the boss went funny in the head, there have been scary monsters everywhere. Those village kids got led through the woods for some reason. The whole forest is so weird now. What's happening? <clears throat> and 
and we got all the tears and lights on now. Oh my god, we're glowing. We're going Super Saiyan. The vessel of light is full of tears, and the light has returned to this area. Hooray! Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, but it was so nice here in the twilight. What's so great about the world of light anyways? <laughs> See you later. Ciao, ciao. Oh my god. It's... It's a great glowing a gogo, but what sort of animal will this great glowing a gogo be? Oh, it's... I think it's a lemur. Tail long enough to beat one, I don't know. But it's mounting that great loving a go go like a lion. My name is Pharaoh. I am one of the spirits of light who dwell in Hyrule by the order of the gods. I protect this forest. Well, you didn't do that good of a job on it. I'll breathe the youth. In the land covered in twilight, where people roam as spirits, you were transformed into a blue-eyed beast. That was a sign. It was a sign that the powers of the Chosen One rest within you, and that they are awakening. Look at your awakened form. Oh my god. Who put these clothes on me? God, if I got date raped again, I'm gonna be pissed. The mayor just said, oh, have one drink, it won't, oh, won't be bad. And then one thing led to another. But yes, that green tunic is your garb once belonging to the ancient hero chosen by the gods. So now we're a hero, because we have tights. This power is yours. His is the true power that slept within you. Your name... Is Getsu. Well, I already knew that. You are the hero chosen by the gods. Ooh. Does that mean we're pro Skittles? I think it does. Yeah. Brave Getsu. A dark power rests in the temple deep within the, these woods. It is a forbidden power. Long, long ago, I and the other spirits of light locked it away. Because of its nature, it is a power that should never be touched by anyone who dwell in the light. But this world weeps beneath the mantle of darkness or shadows. And so there is no choice. You must match the power of the King of Shadows. If you would seek the forbidden power, then proceed to the temple in the forest depths. Okie dokie, pokey. The great glowing of Gogo -Go Lemur has commanded us. Get the ancient power and match darkness for darkness. But we're looking pretty good. Got some chain mail, a nice green tunic, some good gloves, some nice boots, a sword, a shield. Oh yeah. And now we can control ourselves after Minna talks to us. Well, well, you're the chosen hero and all that, huh? So that's why you were turned into a that beast. What a shame. I mean, maybe you'd rather just wander as a spirit like the rest of them, totally unaware of what's happening for all of eternity, right? <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Do you want to head to that temple? Well, isn't that the convenience? I was about to head there myself. Hey, look. You want to help your friends, right? The way I see it, maybe they're in that temple waiting for you to rescue them. Well, good luck, Mr. Important Hero. Hee <laughs> hee, <laughs> see you later. <clears throat> oh yeah. Look at this. We got a nice sword, a nice shield. And we have pantyhose. Now that's that's the Toon Links. Or rather, the associated ones. They are the ones back in that. Because in reality, they're women. Ha ha ha. But yeah, um, 
Now that we're back to human, there's actually a couple things I want to pick up. Because I forgot them when I first got the lantern. Oh boy. So let's head back to Orden. It's a long walk, so we don't have a horse. So I think I stole it. It's probably dog food by now. Sadly. I wish I could cut the ropes on these bridges like in Wind Waker. I think on my first playthrough I tried to do that. I let a monster on here, I'm like, oh come on, break the ropes. I wanna see you fall. But you know you can't. You should kinda screw yourself and all the villagers over, so wouldn't work out too well. Not at all. And more coffee for me. Alright, well the only thing I want to do is go inside the Link's house. As I mentioned earlier, there's something in the basement we want. No, no, it's not a body. That'd be in the church catacombs. There'd be thousands of... Well, you get the point. Even in Eternal Sonata, I made that point well defined. So, climb down the ladder. Or just drop down and... Grab the lantern and go over here and look at chest. What is it? Oops. There we go. And we get 50 rupees, a purple ruby. You completely forgotten it. Now there is where my life savings were. No wonder why State Farm kept coming over. They wanted to take my money. Lucky for them, it's in the darkest of my basement. Well, speaking of which, oh, I hate the freaking 1 800 numbers. I get so many of those during the day. And half the time I'm home during the day and gone during the night because I got like midday night shifts. So I was like, hi, oh, is so and so there? I was like, no, he works during the day. Leave me the fuck alone. And I apologize for the swearing, but um, if you answer enough of them, you'll want to swear at them too. I like how Telus always, call always calls to offer the free phone. We don't deal with you. We don't want your damn phone. Bellow's better. Their internet is better too, but my friend works for Bell and he said they're, um, they're, not their tech support, uh, the people who, the, in the installers are, like, retarded. Which leaves me to wonder. It's like, the installers for Shaw, they're not retarded, just, they have to deal with the same phone line as us, so if they want to reach them, they're gonna wait 20 minutes. Like, when I got my, um, my new internet installed now, that's where the guy was here for an hour just on the phone, because, like, Littlest problem, the, mo the modem that wouldn't hook up properly, we thought it was broken, so like, alright, we gotta call the tech support. 20 minutes later, we're just talking about, like, random stuff, like hockey and that. And then he gets through, and then my internet's done. They really need their own line for that, but, you know, it's kinda bad that they don't. So we wanna go over here now, actually. We could jump right into the first dungeon, but I don't want it yet. Oh, yeah. Let's pick this up. Oh, yeah, and, and... Wait for it. Throw! Oh, I missed. I'm just gonna skip these guys, no point. And we wanna go over here. Because a Mr. Hippie here has another business offer for us. Huh? Oh, sorry, I was just getting high, dude. So, it's the Ordonian. Oh, that's right, dude. You seem familiar, but then your clothes seem kind of different, so I got thrown off for a kind of second, dude. Way to grow green, man, changing the world. He's such a hippie that birds flock to him. Listen, dude, things have been a little rough around here lately, you know. So you should watch your step, guy. There are so many monsters now, I kinda got scared and closed off the path to the temple. Oh, you jerk. But you guy, you wanna get back there, huh? You sure look geared for it, so here you go. And we got a small key. Oh yeah, the woods on the other side of this cave are covered in really thick fog. So make sure your lantern's full, dude. Definitely gonna need to use your lantern a lot in there, so bring the oil you can. Check this out, I have a special one time offer. Bottle full of lantern oil for only a hundred rupees. How about it, guy? What a bargain. This way I can save even more money by giving away my excess stock. 
Yeah, we got another bottle of lantern oil. And you can put all kinds of stuff in the bottle once you use all the oil inside, dude. That's where I store my birds when I catch them in my fro. The nest is just a lie, man. That's one dark hippie. But anyways, we're out of time, guys. So next time on Let's Play Twilight Princess, we'll try to head to the first dungeon. So I will see you next time. Goodbye.